Hey guys, it's me, Edgar. Just wanted to do my review on The Incredible Hulk and uh, issue number three. Just wanted to do my review on it and talk about it. So we have the comic open up where you see um, Rick locking up Banner as he transforms into Hulk and he's trying to contain it because the military is trying to find uh, the Hulk, but that being said, um, Hulk gets out, he causes commotion, Rick fucking runs like a fucking doornail, uh, Hulk goes into a ship, he goes out of space, thinking that the military is gone, and pretty much the rest is history from there, they, it, it just fucking failed. And then after that, Hulk tries to kill Rick, Hulk tries to do all kinds of shit, and then after that whole thing, um, pretty much he stops, and he realizes he can't harm Rick, and therefore he just follows Rick, and he just, uh, stands there, and then Rick fucking falls asleep, and he wakes up hours later, and then after that, he runs down there to find Hulk, they get out of there, and he puts him in an area where he has to guard him, because this thing is like a fucking, uh, I hate to say it, like a beast, where it will cause commotion, and the owner has to take care of the beast, take care of his dog, in a lot of ways. So, you know, it is what it is, you know, Hulk is trying to get out of it, and pretty much he bangs the door as far hard as he can and demanding Rick to release him and uh yeah <laughs> so overall <coughs> what did I thought about it thought it was okay liked it uh six out of ten um it's usually six or seven for me on these issues um I, I I'm just gonna say this I think Stanley did what he could. He really made Hulk Frankenstein-ish. You could definitely tell the writing. You could definitely tell where he was going for this character. And I just... I'm not a big fan of it. I, I, I'm more of either the intelligence of Hulk. That he has his own personality. His own mindset. Or it's just he's merged with Banner. It's either or for me. Anywho, 6 out of 10 for me. Stay tuned on issue 4, 5, and 6. And then we'll do the first ongoing series of Hulk. And then we'll go forward from there. Along with uh, She-Hulk and the Red Hulk books. And then we'll continue our reviews of World War Hulk. And then we'll go forward from there. And we might do the newer Hulk comics. Which I'm dreading it if you ask me. But um... Yeah, I will see you guys next time. If you disagree with me, that's fine. I'm just telling you how I feel about Stanley's writing on the Hulk. Not a big fan of it.